Hey YouTube, this is Rescue Music Park Van 62. Um, here is my review of the movie slash show, um, The Tender Swindler. Now, please note this right now. There is going to be some talk about like extortion and stuff like that. So if you are not into that sort of thing, I completely understand. Um, so basically, it is about this guy. I'm not going to say names due to reasons. It's about this guy who lives a rather eloquent lifestyle. So he drives nice cars like Lamborghinis and stuff like that. Wears fancy clothes like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, etc., etc. Goes to all these clubs. And stuff like that. And people were wondering how does he finance all of this? Well, in comes plaintiff number one that he meets on Tinder. They got to know for about a month, um, a little over a month. Then he started to ask for money. At first, it started out with a small amount of money, like small by comparison. Ten thousand dollars, I believe it was, um, and then he started asking for more and more and more and more and more, and it kept going up and up. So she was having to take out these loans to give to him. Meanwhile, he was saying how like his credit card was bouncing um, and stuff like that. So. Comes plaintiff number two. Um, so he did the same thing with her. Um, and then, so in all, you have about three plaintiffs in this mix. Um, and so in all, uh, he extorted about a little over, I think it was like four or four million dollars um, out of them. For this lifestyle he was doing um but he was also lying to them so for example um he was saying now you know he's not cheating on her he loves her and stuff like that meanwhile he went back on tinder got with his next girl uh, started living that lifestyle and so forth um, it is rather interesting because those three women were all from Europe. Um, so one was from like the Netherlands, another one was from, uh, you know, all in the Europe area. So it was rather interesting. And then later in the show, you start hearing about he started extorting money from people outside of Europe. So he did like U.S. and all these other countries too. And it was rather interesting because he was saying how he was the CEO of a big diamond company as well. And it's come to find out he was not, he was not even related to the person running that um, company. Um, and it was rather interesting because you're, you're like, okay. But then like another thing was he was starting to lie about people he worked with. So for example, his bodyguard, uh, he was claiming uh, he was shot at and he showed pictures of the bodyguard in like an ambulance with like blood dripping down his face and like scars on the back of his head and stuff like that. Come to find out he's at some expensive club in London, I think it was, partying away. His bodyguard was drunk and stuff like that. So that was rather interesting. 
Um, but a lot of the common things that he used in this show or movie is one, uh, he used Tinder. Now, I will do a, sh a video about my thoughts about Tinder in general. But also, he also used the app, um, WhatsApp. So, and the thing about it too with the WhatsApp is it's sort of like texting on your phone, except with this, you can go a long time. So, it was rather interesting to hear him be like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde to these three women because he was talking about how like he loves them and stuff like that. Next thing you know, he'll turn and be like, you know, you've done effed up, you know, you don't know what you just did and stuff like that. So that was rather interesting. Um, so would I recommend this show? Absolutely. Um, like I said, it is a long show, but it is worth watching in general um, to, and see how evil some people can be. Um, and if you've seen it, let me know what you think down below, um, what you've thought about the show or even the one I discussed before, which was... Uh, Pepsi, where is my jet? Um, so if you've seen either of those two, let me know. Um, I would like to hear from you guys on what you've thought about them. Um, did you like them? Did you not like them? What did you think about it? Uh, also, like, did, did you feel sorry for those women who got extorted out a bunch of money and they're still to this day trying to pay it back? Um, and then also the funny thing too, was at the end of that show or movie, uh, I guess it was Netflix got a video, not video, but an audio message from that guy who's like, you know, he's going to sue them for being, you know, lying and stuff like that when obviously all of that was not a lie. So uh, overall it is a rather cool movie or show depending on how you want to look at it and let me know what you think.